Hey guys, it's me again, Hunter, and I'm back. I'm back. I'm doing a 23 month update since I've been on testosterone. Uh, I was gonna do it last week, but I got busy, so I'm doing it now. 23 months, that's almost two years, and I'll be doing a two year update next month because I'm having a birthday. So I did start on my birthday and uh, I'll do another video there. I'm sure you're real excited. <laughs> um, so when I report changes, I report things like uh, do I have any new hair growth, uh, any new hair loss, uh, any muscle gains, things like that. And then sometimes I'll just ramble, as you know if you've watched my channel before, I'll just start telling the story. I'm a storyteller. Uh, true stories, though. Uh, so, let's go on with what kind of changes I've had in the past month. I always check for body hair, and uh, unfortunately I'm not getting a lot of chest hair coming in. That's, I really did want that. But at 23 months, I don't think I'm going to be getting uh, a lot of chest hair. I'm just not a hairy chest kind of guy. And that's due, I'm going to blame that on genetics. Which I blame everything on anyway. Uh, I, as you can see, I just really don't... I mean, you can't help... I mean, it's where it's shadowed here. That's uh, a little bit of chest hair. It's not a lot. I've seen some guys that are real, real hairy. Uh, on their chest and stomach. I do have some on my stomach. I have a lot more hair on my stomach. Um, I'd still have, like to have a lot more than what I have. Uh, I think I have more arm hair. Let's check that out. Um, I'll get closer to the camera and scare you guys. Uh, but I got a pretty good amount of of arm hair which I like I'd like to have more and and my leg hair is is uh, is actually hairier than my arm hair so I'm not complaining there in the leg hair department that's cool that's good uh, just complaining about my chest hair not really having any except for a few strands uh, but you know you get what you get you roll the dice to see what you get uh, due to genetics, uh, this is what I got. Uh, that's what we all get, right? Um, head hair. Uh, do I have less head hair? Well, I was afraid of it. And um, I still have gobs of head hair. Gobs. Is that a word? Gobs. My friend always said gobs. The guy friend that he's hanging out with. He'd always say, gobs, every, every, almost every sentence. Like, he lost gobs away. Um, it's, yeah, it's thinned out. <coughs> but I didn't lose it all. Not yet. And, um, yeah, I'm receding. Which is kind of cool, because as a guy, you want to recede, right? I mean, you do look more male to recede. I, I'm not going to complain about receding. Depends if I recede all the way back to Cleveland. So, I was going to get my head shaved, I mean, maybe not bald shaved, but like a one, like shaved down to like a one. I still might do that, and instead of doing that, I've decided to let my hair grow out for now. I still could change, I still could go back to the barber and say, you know, just, just shave it all off. But for now, I do like long hair, so I got it cut before, a few months ago. Um, down to just to my shoulders and I'm just gonna let it grow past my shoulders I just like long hair and it's not a girl thing I think that's what it is it's just a long hair guy thing I just like long hair on me and uh, I'm trying to fix it and my hair now since I've been on testosterone I noticed a few months after I was on T uh, my hair started getting oilier which uh, my hair has never been oily. Um, it's never been dry. It's never been oily. It's always been just right. 
it's perfect. But now it's oily, and uh, but I don't like to wash it every day because that's really not good for your hair and beard. You want you want to get some oil there in the top of your head, and you want to get it, you know, where your hair grows. Uh, it helps hair growth with hair growth too. So I've heard. Um, my beard, <coughs> I don't know. You know, let's check it out. It's just it grows where it wants to grow. Um, there's not much I can do about it. I think it's I think it's uh, darker. I don't want to say darker because there's more. It looks darker because there's more beard hair there. And of course, I still have my Amish beard, which is on my neck and around my chin and so my chin strap is getting longer and curlier so um I, that's the way that is and as far as my mustache mm, yeah it's, it's I noticed there's some uh, mustache hair right here and it's uh you can't see it on the, on the camera but I've got something literally stick out this way <laughs> Uh, so and then right here you can't see it, but where my finger is, I let go. There, there's a little dark hair starting to come in, so it, it hasn't stopped growing. So that's cool. That that's that, that that's still growing, and I did stop using minoxidil, which I've said before. Um, I just didn't think I needed to use it anymore. Uh, plus, it's not really good for your heart. Uh, even though at first, when I first started using minoxidil, I did feel some kind of, some chest pain, but I didn't stop using it, and it went away. And, uh, it also can age you. I've read that it can age you. There's a whole website on Facebook where people are complaining that they think minoxidil ages their face. And I thought, well, if it can age your face, it can age your internal organs, and I definitely don't need that at my age. And uh, so I just stopped using minoxidil and I derma roll, which I haven't derma rolled in a couple weeks now. So I got to get on that. Maybe even longer than a couple weeks. I'm kind of getting lazy about stuff. Um, I want to talk a little bit about testosterone, testosterone levels uh, that I've noticed. Um, so I raise my my Tito's back up to. 80 milligrams a week and I was on that for three weeks and I started getting some pains in my neck and I don't know what what it was uh, I just don't know what that is but right here my juggler vein like right here that's right there that's kind of a that's a muscle but you know where your juggler vein is right right along here I was starting to get shooting pains Shooting pains are, are never a really good thing. Uh, so, I had them to the point where I was like grabbing my neck and, and saying, oh, you know, like, like somebody was trying to talk to me and I, I couldn't even talk to them because I wanted to wait till the pain went away. Uh, one of those things where you don't want to talk, you just want to wait till the pain goes away. And uh, I had to wait for about three minutes. Kind of scared me. And then I took some baby aspirin and went away. The baby aspirin is supposed to thin out your blood a little bit. Um, I don't know what it is, so it went away for hours, and then the next day it came back. And then the next day it was there again. And so I decided, you know, it could be heart-related. I definitely don't want to have a stroke. I don't want to have a blood clot, I didn't know what it was, I kept thinking maybe it's um, testosterone, I kept thinking maybe my T levels were just, just too high for me, and so uh, I decided to lower my levels to see if that helped, and, and prevented me from getting that again, because I don't want to get that again, um, so yeah, I took my T dose, took my shot, and lowered my Tito's last Friday and uh, just a little bit like it was 0 
now I'm back down to 0.3 and uh, 60 milligrams and taking baby aspirin and I haven't had any problems which has only been a couple days but that's a good sign and again like I said I don't know if it had anything to do with my um, my, my Tito's levels whatsoever I mean my libido was was really high it was sky high it was like through the roof uh, on the 80 milligram and and I kind of felt a little bit jittery and you know and then that pain shooting through my neck so I'm thinking it's just maybe too much for me uh, right now maybe as I'm aging it's just getting to be too much or just over time it's accumulating and uh, and, and I don't really need to be on 80 milligrams, so I'm, I just lowered my dose on my own. I played my own doctor uh, before talking to the doctor be about it, because I don't want to call the doctor and start alarming the doctors, because doctors, I know how they are, dealing with doctors. Because um, if something, you know, unfortunately, if something happens to me, and no they don't want to be responsible and that's what that is so if something happened to me like I had a blood clot or a stroke then they would blame it on the testosterone then they'd be blamed they could lose their license so you know what I'm just going to play my own doctor right now and lower my dose at least I did up my dose that's something you want to consult your doctor about especially if you want to up your dose but I'm lowering my dose so <laughs> I'm not going to consult my doctor right now um, if I get those pains again I'm going to, uh, well, probably, I guess I go to the hospital, but I'm not going to go to the hospital. I'll just call up my doctor, and then I'll have her send me to the specialist and see if something's wrong. Something else could be wrong. It might not have anything to do with testosterone. But just to let you know, <laughs> I lowered my dose, and if you start having pains like that, uh, you could either check with your doctor or lower your dose I'm not a doctor so you know you're gonna do what you're gonna do right um, and if you know of anybody that's had those problems leave in the comments below I'd appreciate that always leave your comments below <laughs> don't leave them above leave them below uh, what else changes do I want to talk about besides lowering my dose and not getting any chest hair and, um, oh top surgery well, I won't be getting it for a while. At least I don't think so unless some miracle happens and I inherit a lot of money. Because my uh, truck engine broke down to the point where it doesn't work. I mean, <laughs> I can't drive my truck except for maybe down the street or something. So I need a new engine is what the mechanic said. So now, I have to take all the money I've saved, all the money, every single penny of it that I've saved to get my top surgery, I have to spend it on a new vehicle, which I'd like to get a truck. Um, so that's where that's going to go, because you know you need wheels. Well, that's unfortunate. But I did, I did have, I wasn't always this poor. I did have a lot of money before, but I, I have a daughter, and you know, teenage daughter, and she's always needed money, and so I was always spending my money on her, to the point where I had a friend say, you know, you used to spend all your money on yourself, and you're always out shopping and buying things for yourself, and, and now all you do is spend your money on your daughter. I thought about that, and thought, well, you know what, <laughs> that's what happens when you become a parent, <laughs> you know, you start becoming become a parent, that's called parenting. And I do still, uh, well, that's probably a reason I didn't start testosterone. Another reason, amongst many reasons, I didn't start it earlier is because I, I had a daughter to take care of, and I was so busy taking care of my daughter, working, spending my money on her, moving, buying a house, and uh, my insurance still wouldn't pay for, you know, it didn't want to pay for anything. It didn't want to pay for testosterone. It didn't want to pay for surgery. Now my insurance is willing to pay for all those things, and my daughter's out of the house. I don't even hardly see her anymore, 
Uh, that's a whole long story if you want to hear why I don't see my daughter anymore. It's not because I'm transgender. She, she knew I was transgender. I talked to her about that when she was a young teenager. She's now an older teenager, so... No, uh, it's not, she didn't uh, leave. She became gothic. And you say, well, why would your kid leave because she became gothic? Well, because she was having disturbing visions of demons and and she wasn't on drugs. Uh, she just, I don't know. She, she didn't want to see a therapist. She was already 18 and she refused to see a therapist and I couldn't make her. Uh, but she was having some weird dreams. She even uh, dreamt before the COVID even occurred. COVID-19. She dreamt about the COVID-19. I'm not making this up. I don't make stuff up. But she didn't say it was called COVID-19. She said a deadly virus. She would see that in her dreams every night for about a week. And uh, that that's weird. She and then she said she saw a lot of brown people that most people were turning brown, and I thought that was weird. <laughs> and, uh, like she met the color of their skin, not, not that the virus made them turn brown, but she said that in her dreams, that was, that's what she saw mainly, were, were dark-skinned people. Like there was some new thing coming, which it did. Now you see that now that's the new thing on the social media. Uh, uh, I don't know, it's the, the BLM movement so I'm thinking she saw the BLM movement and didn't know she saw it and it's real weird it's, the whole thing's real weird uh, her vision she does have visions but her visions were becoming frightening and she was becoming frightened and then she turned gothic so I thought well because she's gothic and she was getting into some satanic things I thought well maybe that was causing the nightmares because you'd see demons um, I didn't want her to be, to get that heavily into, into it, and, uh, she didn't like that. She didn't like that I, I wanted to try to stop her from becoming gothic. Uh, and that's the only reason is because it was making her sick. Something was making her sick. And so she had to leave, so she took off. So she didn't want to live with me anymore, and she, she ran off. And so I've been going through a lot of stuff. My daughter was missing for a long time, too, and she couldn't be found. And then uh, I found her, but I found her on Facebook. We're talking about a year later. About, yeah, about a year later, I found her on Facebook. And she was she seemed like she was safe. And uh, But she was so gothic. <laughs> it was just like... <laughs> I didn't already recognize... Her. It didn't seem like her. She had changed so much. Now she's gonna hardly recognize me. That's if she ever sees me again. Because I went ahead and, and went on testosterone. I changed my name. So anyway, I'm Brissy. I'm rambling. Well, let's go on to other things. Let's go on to other things. Oh, what was I gonna talk about? I don't think I was gonna talk about my daughter. Um. Oh, well, yeah, I'm going to go back to that. The thing about my the COVID, what she saw in her, her visions and her nightmares, uh, she said that people were getting a vaccine. And this is this is five years before, five years before it happened. Uh, she said people were getting vaccine, and they, were, they seemed healthy, and then after a while, they were actually dying from the vaccine. And then I thought, Okay, she had some interesting dreams. I have interesting dreams too, but that was that was pretty wild at the time because it hadn't happened. But I told her, well, if that ever happens, I'm gonna, I'm not going to take the vaccine. And she said, please, whatever you do, do not take the vaccine. I'm not telling you guys don't take the vaccine. I'm saying that my daughter is disturbed in some way, but she did have some interesting visions and dreams and uh, she did predict and it could be all coincidental but she said you know people that were taking vaccine the vaccine were dying from the vaccine <laughs> it's something about the government and, and it's real weird
but that didn't prevent me from taking the vaccine, so I'm just letting you know a story that's true. It's a true story. That, uh, you know, my daughter had a kind of a prevision of something. It seemed like a vision, but maybe, maybe it really wasn't. It was just a dream. Because uh, I wouldn't want anybody not to take a vaccine over there. Um, I know some people are getting sick over the vaccine so that I've read, but I think most people are doing fine. They're doing okay with it. Uh, but <laughs> they're still getting COVID even with a vaccine. And uh, I know my friend's mother was warning me. She was mad because I didn't get all my vaccines. I said, well, I just haven't got around to getting all the vaccines yet. She said, you could go out and, and get the COVID, you know, and get really sick or die. Like, I needed to hear that. <laughs> Which is true, but I didn't. I haven't gotten all, all of them yet. Uh, I think I'm waiting for the COVID just to go away. And I don't go out that much, really. Uh, I'm not really as careful as I should be. I'm trying to be careful with my testosterone, though. Not take too much. Uh, oh, I also want to say, if you guys are taking, you're not getting the changes you want, uh, ask your doctor if you can go on uh, a higher dose or maybe switch to, if you're on the gel, switch to sub Q shots or intermuscular shots. I think I would like to get more changes myself. I'm okay uh, with my changes, but um, I wonder if I want to enter muscular if I get more changes. If you guys know anything about that, put in the comments below, let me know. Because, um, really, uh, I'd like to get more changes, too. Somebody, no, there's a couple people that, uh, uh, the guy, he started when he was 19, and he didn't get a beard till he was uh, four years into it, taking testosterone, so I'm thinking, well, you know, I'm, I got a couple more years to go, I might get a a fuller beard, I may or may not, I don't know, but then again, he's 19, and there's a difference there, you know, because he started at 19, that's young, uh, so maybe he, let's say he was a cis male, born a cis male, he probably wouldn't have even gotten a beard t until he was in his 20s, anyway, uh, me being older, this could be all the changes I'm going to get, I don't know, I, but then there was somebody on here that's older, uh, I forget their age, you know, older, like 50s, 40s, 50s, and said they didn't get all the changes until they were four years on testosterone. So there, there's that four-year mark again, so let's see in a couple of years what other changes I get before, besides a few more lines and wrinkles, <laughs> which have nothing to do with testosterone, even though I did read about that too, that uh, testosterone, just in men general, that are cis males, uh, they, they said it can age them, and I thought, oh, did I just read that? <laughs> did I just read that <laughs> just having testosterone in your body as a male can age you? Is that true? Just, just because it's written, does that mean it's true? Not always. Not always. So... Yeah, so, um, I've been working out, so, uh, I should say I'm wearing long sleeves, but, you know, that's all the muscle in my arm there, from here to there, I still work out a little bit, um, I might give myself a three to four day break, and then I'll start working my arms out again, and my legs, and because I'm diabetic, though, I can't lose the weight that I want to lose, I can gain muscle, but it's weird how I can't lose more than, like, I'm only going to weigh what I weigh now because I have to take medication, uh, medications from being diabetic. Things old people say. Uh, I, I have to take medications because <laughs> I'm diabetic and the medications put weight on a person. So, I can't win. <laughs> I can't win for losing. Well, that's all I'm going to report.
and hopefully you can hear this. I'm trying to get closer to the microphone. Hopefully you can hear it. And um, if you guys got a channel and you want me to subscribe because you're on it, I will subscribe back to you. I'm going to go and uh, I'll see you next time. Peace out. Hunter out.